our girl, Chef Kristen, is in the house. What did you bring? Uh, I'm doing a bread and butter custard pudding with a caramel applesauce. Oh my God. So this is so great. All show long, we're going to be creating these dishes. I gotta congratulate you. First of all, wildly successful restaurant entrepreneur, advocate for other women, advocate for people in general, and now TV star. I mean, when I saw the announcement from Padma saying how happy she was that you were taking, I started crying, because I know what a good person you are. Thank you. And you earned you. and deserve this. Thank you. And I earned and deserve this recipe. You do. So you do. Now. All right. I, you are in the most beautiful outfit well, right we now. Well, we both wore white and we're cooking. It's not a good, do we have aprons? No. Okay. <laughs> because we want to be cute. And I mean, then, you know, well, we have cute aprons we gave away earlier. All right, well, maybe those. Okay. All right. This was inspired. This is also a homemade apron. I love it. So okay. this was inspired by your childhood. It was. So I grew up having, and I don't know if anyone also did, um, just plain white toast in a toaster, butter, cinnamon, and you sugar. You grew up in Michigan. I did. Midwest. And it was the easiest, like, three-second yeah. breakfast. And then because I couldn't take or swallow vitamins, my dad would take... Uh, these little chewables, crush them up between two spoons and put them in applesauce. Oh. Now, obviously, we are far departed from the inspiration of this dish. <laughs> However, <laughs> I love bread pudding, but what I love more than bread pudding is something with custard. Oh. I love custard. I just, and you say this is a great potluck. because this, We do this potluck because that's kind of the culture I'm from as well, where people would come over and they'd bring mm -hmm. something so that one person wouldn't take the whole responsibility for feeding 50 people. I don't think I've been to a potluck. What? And if I have, I didn't know it was a potluck, and I certainly didn't bring anything. <laughs> this is your first so, potluck? I'm I'm pretty sure. And more, I, I like, like it. I, I like, like it. Okay. All right, so I'm mixing the eggs. And so I'm doing, a, I guess, a brunch-inspired dish for okay. potluck, because I am someone that eats dinner at five o'clock. Oh. If you invite me to a dinner potluck, I might be asleep. Okay. So we're gonna just like stick in the brunch. I like, I like it. Okay, so. okay, so you have eggs yeah. and sugar here. Okay. Now, if you have a mixer at home, did you give away a free mixer? Yes, we did. It's a Vitamix, okay, right. thank you. <laughs> Worth $400. So use that free mixer now to do this part <laughs> instead, of, instead of using the, uh, the arm muscle. However, Look at that you chef. really wanna I mean, get that's it going. All, that's a chef style there, okay. And you want it light and fluffy, light and, fluffy. and airy, right? Okay, I could have so, done that. You just told me you want to keep, keep going? I see those muscles. I see the muscles. Okay, no. other things are jiggling, so I'm gonna stop. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> so over here we have heavy cream, vanilla, and a little bit of salt. Mm. And so we're gonna temper that into the egg yolk. So okay. what tempering means, so imagine yourself being, um, you know, like jumping from a hot tub into a cold plunge, okay. right? It's like, it's a shock. So you need to bring the two temperatures together a little bit more slowly. Oh, so okay. we don't end up curdling our eggs. So oh. you're gonna whisk. I'll, okay, I'll whisk. And I'm gonna pour. I so love that gently. how you describe that. Now we can visually see what what tempering is like, okay? So you don't need to pour all of it in there. You just need it to kind of equalize in the same temperature. Guys, right? are you watching I'm over here? Right taking taking notes, notes? Yeah, okay? Because I heard somebody come, mmm. All right. <laughs> okay. So now that we have them tempered, you can now pour the egg mixture back into this pot. Oh. Yep. Okay. Throw it all back in. So all now right. you're safe. You're not going to curdle the eggs. So nice. our eggs uh, coagulate at such a low temperature. You don't want scrambled eggs. Now right. I'm pretty sure I scared your culinary producers because okay. I was like, this can go from perfect to wrong in a split second. Well, that's why we have you right. here, because but, you are the master, you're the top chef judge, come and, on. And this is the way I think about food. Thank you. The way I think about food is, you know, I think a lot of times we say meet people where they are. Mm -hmm. In terms of cooking, I always believe in meeting you just a little bit above where you think you are, so you realize how good you are. Okay. And you can actually do it. I right? love that. So you have your bread here. You shingled your bread. Right. Okay. So we're gonna basically take good old fashioned good old white fashioned bread. white bread. Now I would not recommend using a fancy bread. Okay. Because it's not the same. I like that. Okay. Some things should be kept basic. Everything doesn't need to be artisanal. Exactly. I don't think. <laughs> exactly. I, I threw that word in for y'all. <laughs> okay. So we have our white bread. You're gonna take your egg cream mixture okay. and you're gonna just throw it all on top. Okay. I'm gonna pour it on top. Yep. That oh, looks... so you're gonna let it soak in there. So you wanna let it sit for about 30 minutes. If you can, overnight's even better. Okay, so you overnight want... or 30 minutes room temperature. Nice. You want the bread to fully soak in all that custard. Now, okay. as that happens, it's gonna soak in what it can. The rest of that custard that can't be absorbed is gonna sink to the bottom. So when it oh. cooks, it's gonna be like creme brulee underneath. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay, so you allow it to sit for 30 minutes yep. overnight. Then we're gonna 
pull out what's done. Yep, right here. And then we're gonna cook it in a water bath. So water bath helps you cook things a little bit more gently. And because so this is after this we've eggs, taken it out of the fridge or after your 30 minutes. That's okay, right. Okay, and you're gonna do the water bath. So we have water bath here and we're gonna go, I'm not gonna mess with that. Yeah, that's we're a hot water bath. Yeah. So we're gonna fill it all the way up about halfway okay. up the actual container. So again, now we're equalizing the temperature. So when it goes into a hot oven, it's already kind of comfy with that temperature. Oh, so we're right? gonna bake it for 30 to 40 minutes. You say check every 15 minutes. I do, and when you know it's done, you when you jiggle it, you don't want it to look like the ocean. You have an example of what it's supposed to look you, like. Oh, I do, <laughs> down here, there's everything. Um, when it comes out, you want, when you go like this to the pan, this one is set, uh -huh. Um, you want it to feel like a waterbed. You know, oh. you've smacked a waterbed before, right. right? And you know what it does? That's what you want. References I never expect on the Jam Walker. <laughs> you know, Jam Fam, when you smack that waterbed, yeah. that's what that's supposed to feel like. Coming up, don't smack anything. Coming up, Chef Kristen Kish will show us how to make a tasty caramel applesauce. We're going to finish off her beautiful potluck recipe. Don't go away, and we've got more surprises. Kristen Kish, Chef Eric McCree, the Podash twins, Ezra and Adib. We are having the most amazing, that's right, <laughs> holiday potluck and giveaway show. All right, so before we put it in the oven, we did sprinkle cinnamon and sugar on Correct. top. Yep. So that's why you have the little browning there. So now you have the topping of all toppings for this. So I'm not a pumpkin spice person. I know. That's okay. I am an apple spice person. I prefer okay. apple over pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, okay. I prefer caramel apple over pumpkin. Oh my gosh, okay. So we're just kind of making a really quick caramel. So it's brown sugar, butter, lemon juice, lemon zest, heavy cream, and you cook it all together. You simmer it all up, it gets nice and sticky. Mm. And then you add a bunch of apples. So I use Granny Smith. I was about to say, that's that's a sensitive conversation because mm -hmm. I always like, now what apples do you use? I mean, when, you're, when you are ha like you start with Michigan. so Michigan, you gotta sugar. be defensive about apples. They got good apples there. They do have yeah. good apples, mm -hmm. but I will say a lot of apples kind of like disintegrate yeah. when you go to cook them. Granny Smith stay nice and nice whole or whatever shape you cut them in. Okay. And then also the tartness is really I, nice. I so like that. If you want to hit some some, uh, some powdered sugar okay. over the and top. And by the way, here. the complete recipe, the QR code at our screen there, you can just put your TV up to your phone up to the TV and get that. So I'm sprinkling this on. Right. There is nothing not to like about every single thing in this recipe, by the way, already. So and then you scoop it out like so that. Nice and custardy. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Look at the guys. They're like, ooh, you have some oh, in yeah. front of you. Yeah, I'm I just really want to eat. So. I know, I just want to eat, too. You should oh, we eat. Can, so you'll finish it off while we're just the guests that yep. do what people do while the cook you is still cooking and you're eating. Eat. Now, the thing I know about potlucks, even though maybe I haven't officially attended one, is that when it hits the table to when um, oh it, you know, the last this person so eats, delicious. it needs to be good. Hot, room temperature, right. and cold mm. the, the next day for me. Um, so for this purpose, you're having a little bit warm. So, because I like warm food. Having it set in the refrigerator and having it the next day is like this really oh, cold pudding, maybe with just some hot this caramel. This is so creamy and delicious. And the topping, guys, this is insane. Good. The custard Good. is amazing. The custard that is crazy, is, right? Yeah. I can't really talk right now because I'm just finishing <laughs> this, but yeah. I it's, second that. Yes. It's exactly as she describes custardy and then the caramel and the apple and the apples hold up. Mm -hmm. Also, when I think of potlucks, as people start to scoop, I'm sorry, I just got a full bite. sort of good as like people are digging in. I hate to interrupt well. you, Chef. Yeah. I just got a full bite of that apple caramel. Yeah. Delish? Ma'am. <laughs> so good. So good. Oh my God. Woo! You taste it? That's good. That is very oh good. <laughs> You know when the chef brags on themselves in front of you, it's, it's, I got a full bite of it. That's crazy. I'm so happy that you like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Chef Kristen Kiss, check out her as the new host of Top Chef Season 21. <laughs> premieres 2024 on Bravo. And you can stream season one of her National Geographic show, Restaurants at the End of the World. Beautiful, beautiful show right now on Hulu.